What's up? It's five weeks post-op. It's June 28th, 2023. And a lot has happened in the past five weeks. And I'm sorry that I haven't updated you guys, but in this video that you're about to see, you're going to see a little bit of um, the first PT that I was doing after I first started walking. So you kind of get to see some of the PT that um, gets me to where I am now. So enjoy the video. I just climbed the stairs for the first time by myself. So that's a huge win. Really excited and now we're headed to PT. So this video starts out on June 6th. That's about two weeks post-op and I have an appointment with Nina and we talk a little bit about the ACL and she does some movement assessment, which was pretty critical to getting me up and moving around on my own um, and really building that strength to be able to walk places. So right here, Nina's explaining that the ACL is a really important stabilization ligament and she's just explaining how it can get torn and why it gets torn essentially. And then in this one, she's explaining that when, the eight, when you bend your knee, when your quad is flexed, the ACL is in a really safe position, but it's a lot of times that extension that causes issues. And that is why hamstring strength is so important to preventing the ACL from tearing. So that's good to know. And a huge part of PT for me at this period of time was just moving around because I was so stiff. Yeah, so there we go, just moving the knees around and just kind of testing that range of motion. And then in this exercise, Nina was kind of pushing against my leg and I was pushing against her hand to try to build up some strength in my quads and hamstrings because I had lost a lot while I was limping around. And then in this, I'm just trying to do a glute bridge, but glute bridges were hard because my patella was so sore at that time. And then Nina actually does a little movement assessment. So she walks, watches me walk down the hallway a little bit. And I was really self-conscious about how I was walking at the time because I felt so weak and I had lost so much muscle mass. But after kind of assessing my movement, Nina said that I was walking pretty well, all things considered. So that's pretty cool. And all in all, that PT session went really well. We are at Costco and I am walking. You can notice my little knee brace is on and I'm walking around Costco and this is kind of a big step because last week I couldn't even walk. So pretty cool. Excited yeah. about it. Now I can help Kyle with the chores. So, progress. What's up? What do you think of the Costco trip? Good. We need a lot of stuff, so good that we have it all. We also have less money, so. Even though we're short on some money, the best news out of this was I could comfortably walk around Costco. And that was kind of huge because I haven't really gone for like a proper walk in a while. In fact, this is the first grocery store that I've been to post-op. Um, and so that's super impressive. And Costco is really big, right? So you have to walk around a ton to get to your stuff and I was able to move around no problem. I think I might be a little bit sore tonight but still huge step in the right direction so very exciting. Yeah, yeah. good job stud. Thanks stud. June 13th, three weeks post-op. So this is my first time actually using the press machine which my quads were really weak so it was a struggle to even get all the way down to the bottom of the machine but after some time, I finally did it and was able to do a couple presses, which was awesome. The next exercise was just some simple squats. But again, because of all the atrophy, it was really hard for me to get this motion down. So at this time, I was only able to do a couple. And then this was actually my very first time using the Pilates Reformer, which was really funny because I felt like a mouse on a mouse trap. I was so nervous that these cords were gonna snap and I was gonna get like yanked down to the bottom of the reformer. But 
Russ assured me that that wasn't gonna happen and that I would be fine, but still, I was a little freaked out and nervous to go all the way down to the bottom. But I ended up doing it a few times and oh my gosh, I was so sore from using this Pilates reformer, but it was really awesome. And here I am again doing a different exercise and my feet were so sore after doing this. I felt like a little bird on a perch and I was cramping like crazy, but probably got stronger from it. And then we finished up the session with just an easy bike ride, which was awesome because this, he basically gave me the thumbs up to start biking pretty much as much as I wanted. So thank you so much for watching and I hope you liked this video. Sorry that it was like not as interesting or long as some of my videos in the past. I really need to start doing a better job of having content days where I take time to do something interesting and collect interesting footage. And trust me, I wanna be able to give you guys something interesting to watch because I'm proud of this stuff too. But yeah, hopefully in the future, I'll step it up and have some better stuff for you guys. But thank you so much for watching. Thank you for all the support. Every like, every comment, every subscription makes a really big difference. So thanks. See you in the next one.